So, did I pass? Nope! Oh, so, welcome back to my vlog. I am Serena, if you don't know me. Um, yeah, so basically, it probably looks a bit different how I held the camera in the last vlog because uh, this isn't going on because it's something's broken in like the little screw around thing. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get that fixed. Um, but basically, wow, this has my arm like this. I am going to the location where I'm taking my driving theory test. Uh, and I feel prepared. I was, I was revising like the entire day yesterday. Um, and I took like five mark tests and I got all 47 plus. And I just did one in the car in like five minutes and I got 50 out of 50. So I'm a bit worried about the hazard perception though. Because I haven't done a lot of that, but I mean, it's pretty much com common sense. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'll let you know how that goes later in this vlog. And hopefully I'll be saying I pass. Because uh, I have a driving lesson later, so hopefully I'll be selling him my driving instructor that I passed. Um, but yeah, I'm here really early. Like We're still on the way, but it'll take like another five minutes. It's at 9 and it's 8.33, so I'm going to hang around. But then my dad's going straight to work and I'm staying in town for a bit and getting a Starbucks on my own. Uh, yeah, so wish me luck. Two hours later. Uh -huh, I just found my theory test, okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, so basically, I, <sighs> um, so, yep, you had correctly, I failed my theory test. Uh, I was just gonna say I don't ask Phil, but I do actually, I was upset earlier, but uh, basically, so I got, oh, this hurts my arm. I got 49 oh, out of 50. Which is good, 49 out of 50 on the multiple choice and case study questions. Um, obviously, which is like, great, because you need 43 to pass, and obviously 50 out of 50 is full mark, and I got one mark off full. But um, I failed because I didn't pass the hazard perception part. Now yesterday, and I said this earlier in this vlog, like this morning, like I was unsure about the hazard perception, and this morning I was unsure about the hazard perception, because like, obviously I see the hazards, like I know when there's the hazards, but I don't understand the whole thing about when you have to, like the timing of when you click. I'm like, I, I, I don't know, I guess I just don't agree with it. Cause I, I think if you see a hazard, like I, if I see a hazard and I'm gonna press it, like a hazard is a hazard, like, uh, I don't know. I just, yeah. So you need 44 out of 75 to pass, which isn't even that much. And I got 36. Um, I got double on the two, no, I got 10 on the double hazard questions, it's out of 10, and then like on seven of them I got like nothing, I just, I don't know, I wish I could see where, which ones and where I went wrong, because I, I, I don't know, I just find it really hard, like, like I said, obviously I see the hazards, but it's just when to click, if you go, it sounds stupid, but I don't know, so um, yeah, I was upset, but I'm just going to try and book it. I have to wait three days before I can book it again and then I'm gonna book it straight away and gonna find as many hazard perception questions like online as I can. Um and yeah. Hopefully I'll pass that time. I don't know, I've got I've got my driving lesson later and I'm scared to tell my instructor because I don't know. He has a, well I mean he was expecting me to pass, so I was expecting me to pass. Um Ah! Oh my god, I was gonna get a Starbucks after because <laughs> I was in town and I really wanted a Starbucks, but then I came out and I wasn't in the mood, so I was like, I want to go home. Cries. I just watched that back and I realized it was out of fit because I'm sorry. This is why I need a camera with a monitor because I could not see myself. So, in times like just then, when I recorded myself speaking for like two whole flipping minutes, it wasn't in focus, so I am sorry. And I sound super sarcastic. I am sorry again, so wait. <laughs> Skip to the next part in this vlog. Forget me being sad, and I'll see you in about a second. So, sorry, dudes. Oh, I feel like a boxer. Whew. Uh, no, literally though. Hey, that rhymes. What? Anyway, um, 
Yeah, so I've just hurt my wrist. I mean, I wrapped this up myself. I've hurt it for ages. Like, from doing acro and from, like... Because I, I clean, that's, like, my job. And obviously, like, when I mop, <laughs> that's, like, a... It, we use your wrists and, like, your hands, obviously. Um, but because of, like, the overuse of my wrist. I think it's, like, strained. I don't know, something's wrong with it because it hurts. And it's been hurt for ages. And I mean, like, weeks to months. Um... So I probably should get that checked out, but I know that all the all they're gonna say is stop dancing, and nah, that is a no can do. So I'll just lip in pain. Wonderful, that is a great choice. Seriously though, who fails a theory test? <laughs> oh wait, me! I have so much coursework, and I have so much revision to do for exams, and I kind of am um, losing the will to live. So <laughs> goodbye, world. All right, so um, I'm currently editing like all the stuff that I've recorded earlier today um, <clears throat> so which is all the stuff that you've seen basically up till now in this video and I'm in a good mood now because um, there's like obviously or oh, I hope you find it funny but it's made me laugh um, my editing in this video um, so now I'm in a kind of good mood and I'm going to use this good mood good move? good mood? good mood um, to basically put a positive note across to kind of motivate myself but also to motivate others who have failed their driving theory test like once or twice or however many times if they failed it to just like use and it's same goes to everything else in life use failures as a learning curve um like mistakes are there to be learned from to better yourself and so each time you come back fighting you'll come back better knowing more etc it'll be more prepared um so just don't let it get to you and i'm gonna use the same advice just don't let it get to you have your little cry or whatever or about whatever situation in life, not should failing your driving test. Um, yeah, just think about, just keep staying positive and motivated, and stick to that mindset throughout your whole life, and you should be good. So, yeah. Shimmy, 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 yeah, shimmy, yeah. Bad girls gon' swallow, la, la, la. Bust down on my wrist in it, bitch. My picky rain bigger than this. Matter how I'm Beverly Hills. Dollar got too many girls. Matter how I'm Beverly Hills. All she wears red bottom heels. When she back it up, put it on the top. When she drop it low, put it on the ground. DJ Papa, she got it. Oh my god. Um. I think I'm in room. Why is there so many construction workers around? Anyway, um, oh my god, it's so hot. I'm always in the car, like a lot of the time when I'm vlogging, I don't know why. But um, right now, me and my dad are on our way to Birmingham because the director of my music video for So Bad, um, he recommended me to one of his media student friends who, for their course, is doing an interview about like vlogging and stuff. Um, so she got in touch with me and asked if I, I just wanted to like take part in the interview. Um, so that's what I'm going to do and it's at 2 o'clock and right now it's 12, so 2 hours and it, it, only, <laughs> it only takes an hour to get there so when we get there we're going to stop off like a little for a bit of lunch or coffee or whatever um, uh, and I'll vlog that. Um, yeah, so and the weather's so nice, it's so sunny, it literally feels like summer, but you watch tomorrow we're like hailing or something with a storm. Um, anyway, the dance video that I just put like about, I don't know, a minute ago in this vlog, um, I put it in because I realised that for the whole, like of this vlog before that dance video, it was just me speaking and that's probably going to get a bit boring, so I thought I'd break it up with a bit of dance and yeah, I don't know. Because I was in the studio yesterday at school, because um, I finished work and then 20 minutes later I like had a, I suppose, private lesson because for A-level dance, um, one of our criteria or tasks that we have to do is choreograph a trio with like a certain stimulus or whatever. Um, so I was just waiting for the person to come so I could teach. Uh, oh my god. And yeah, so I had a bit of free time and I learned that, I actually learned that routine in my room <laughs> at like half ten at night, last week or something, and I don't know, I always watch the videos from like Millennium Dance Complex and like choreographers in LA, um, and I'm like, oh my god, I want to like dance like that, so yeah, I was giving it a go and I love it. Um, and oh my god, the two choreographers who choreographed that routine, I put, I put that dance bit on Insta 
yesterday, so that in this vlog that will be on Wednesday. That's Wednesday. Um, and they both liked and commented, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god. So, <laughs> hey, moving up in the world. <laughs> One of them is, yeah, it's too long, the second one. Um, and the first one that is in this video, the first one that I played, um, that song should be out by the time that this vlog is uploaded. Uh, yeah, it's called I Just Wanna Love You, and <laughs> I'm hoping it's out by then. It should be on like iTunes, maybe not Spotify yet, maybe Spotify in like two days. But um, it'll be out somewhere, and I'll put all the links down below in the description. And yeah, that's my second song, and yeah, so <laughs> hopefully you guys like it. Um, oh yeah, and spread the word, uh, share it with your friends, your family, whatnot. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I want to try and get as much recognition as I can, obviously, because it's what I want to do. So uh, yeah, please help. <laughs> by sharing it and it, commenting reviews if you want or hopefully positive uh yeah <laughs> so. six miles continuing to 838 hashtag memories of where i recorded my music video oh okay good green box yep wow well anyway there's the park where i recorded the outside or one of the outside scenes of my music video and there's a green thing in the way memories Cinematic. angles <laughs> so i've just finished this interview it was really fun that there was one no two guys and one boy and they were just doing it for their course um no, it was really fun. They said they interviewed like three other vloggers, I suppose, but it was really nice and like it was probably chilled. So I think they're gonna put it up on YouTube and yeah, so I'll send the link if not. And so she walking through this building now. It's such a nice building. But um, I just realized there's like loads of people around who like every so often glance over at me because I'm talking to a camera, but you know what? I just don't care anymore because I should like vlog life. But yeah, this is a really nice building. There's nobody in here, so <laughs> Oh, there's the lighting. Get it, get it. Oh, yeah. That's all the photos that um well I like that I've put on. But oh my god, that was my last comps ever. And it was also Daniela's Molly and Lauren's, who is like these people here. Um it's their last comps as well. Uh so it wasn't as emotional as we thought it would be, but we have photos together and because we're all leaving and we've been there for like so many years. Um so it's a bit sad. But um, we did so well, like, in every dance I did, we, I got a medal, 
um, in the troops that we did, which was like the last section that we just had, um, we got first, second, and fourth out of like 24 or something. Um, Starlight like stole it. We did so good. Uh, oh my voice. But um, yeah, so now I like persuaded my dad to order me a Domino's. Um, so I got Hawaiian pizza because. I like pineapple on pizzas. Don't argue with me. <laughs> I love pineapple on pizzas. I know some people, a lot of people don't agree with it. Um, anyway, and then my parents got a pizza and I won two trophies as well because I saved the awards and like one of them was for this highest mark senior trio between me, Dan and Lauren. And I wasn't expecting it but I won the highest mark modern solo of the comps and I think I got 89 for that but yeah so I wasn't expecting it so I got a trophy for that. Um, and yeah, Starlight just won so many trophies, like, we smashed it. Um, but that is all for this vlog. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know whether it's longer than the last one, but I'll see when I edit it. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, excuse my hair. Like, obviously I've just finished comps and I just wiped my um, lipstick off. Uh, and my hair, I, I don't even know what it is. But yeah, um, embrace it. So, you know what you've got to do? Uh, like, subscribe typical YouTube stuff, just do whatever. Uh, if you want, you can turn my post notifications on because pff, why not? I mean, hashtag pro YouTuber with like 10 million subs. Yeah, mm hmm Okay, um, anyway, yeah, <laughs> that's all I've got. So, bye-bye. <laughs>